I'm Jessica Springsteen. And I'm Reed Kessler. Uh, we were both just in Washington and Kentucky, and um, you were in Harrisburg before that, I think. So, we've done a couple indoor shows before here. Yeah, it's amazing. I'm so excited. I've always wanted to do this show. I heard such amazing things about it last year, and I'm taking this semester off of school, so it worked out that I could come, so I'm really excited. I've never come, but Katie's come many times in her life, and uh, everyone tells me it's a really fun show, great atmosphere, so I'm really excited to be here. It, it fits in naturally with our uh, schedule. I did Harrisburg, Washington, Kentucky, like Jess said, so it fits in perfectly. And after here, I do uh, Paris and Chiba. I just found out I got in yesterday, so I'm really excited That's about that. Awesome. Who did you bring here? I brought Micah, Onisha, and Jess. Yeah, my horse Temi to do the smaller classes and maybe one big one, and then I have my new horse Vinta Cat, who will be doing some of the bigger classes. Talk about the new horse. How's that going? Um, really well. We just got him. Um, I did one show in Europe and then I came over here to do indoors and we were planning on this being our first show where I moved up but he was so good that I was able to do the Grand Prix in Washington and last week in Kentucky so he's been really good. Very and excited. How, how did you select that particular horse? Because you... Yeah, you know. everyone asked me this question. Like why um, him? Well, my uh, big Grand Prix horse is 14, so it'll be 15 next year, so I kind of needed another one to do the big classes on it. I don't really have another horse that can do that. So um, Laura picks all my horses. She's such an amazing eye for that, and she had seen him go a bunch. I saw him in Rotterdam, and she thought it would be a really good match, and it turned out it was. So <laughs> I tried him um, once a couple weeks after the Olympics, so. and we got along really well. So he's so just my type. <laughs> what is that? Um, I like horses that, you know, really have their own motor and they're really, he's so brave, so confident. He doesn't spook at anything. That makes me really confident and brave and he has such an amazing feeling, so much scope and so we got along really well. And talk about the Olympics a little bit, uh, Reed. Like, how is that experience? We haven't had a chance to talk about it. It was unbelievable. It was a huge honor to go and uh, it was amazing to be in that group of riders. That's what I've wanted. It's been the goal of my entire career. The fact that it came so early has been the dream come true, and I hope to go back next time and medal. I see. Well, I'm pretty much qualified for the World Cup already, so I'm really excited about that. So that's my next big goal for next year, and after that, you know, the World's Games, I've gotten a taste of senior championships, and I like it quite a lot. <laughs> and also, you, uh, this year, obviously, there's going to be a change in coaching. Uh, how's that? Like, what's the dynamic of the team, and what what's the new coach going to bring, you think? Uh, I know, you won't know until we get started, but Robert was a fantastic asset, you know, at the games and in the lead up and, you know, he was at Washington watching and he's a great guy and I think he'll be great. You know, George's style, he was always pretty involved uh, in the prep training for the games and that's his style, he gets a lot of clinics, he's always been, he's, well he's actually been mentors to most of us that were on the team, Right. so <laughs> it has that aspect too, but, uh, you know, like I said, I. Robert was West Coast. I didn't know him that well until he was actually appointed as the chef, so I don't know how his style will be. I think it's sort of up to each chef how they go about it. So, uh, so you know, far. at the games, he was great, you know, in a, you know, the chef's basic duties, which is informing the rest of the team how everything's going and being there as a hand to help and give advice, but let everyone sort of do their thing. But, like I said, I don't, you know, I haven't worked with Robert really before that we'll games experience, so we'll see. <laughs> So obviously with the purchase of the horse, you're thinking of WEG uh, 2014 or something? Uh, yeah, hopefully. I go back to school in January, so I'll be going back and forth a lot, so that it always makes it a little bit tougher, but um, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> where, where do you go? Uh, I go to Duke University. Do you study in there? Uh, psychology. And so is that going to be a profession, or you want to do the horses? Um, I'll probably end up doing the horses. I just, you know, I really wanted to go and get the experience, and it's been so much fun, and I've learned a lot, so I really enjoy school, so I want to finish up two more years. Yep. I don't know, every great rider kind of, like, thinks back to what were the horses that they grew up watching, and for me it was always Sapphire and Hickstead, who would beat each other. Sapphire, Hickstead, McLean, and Eric, and I can't see how many jump-offs I've seen them against each other, and uh, Hickstead was... That'd be one of the greatest horses in history, so it's an honor to be at the first Hickstead Cup. Yeah, is it going to be extra special? Because it's in Canada, and uh, yeah. you know, and, and, and it was a year ago today that we lost him. So it's, I know uh, I was seeing the riders list for Verona go up, and it was so sad. It's a little bit sad. It's an amazing horse, and I'm so happy that so many people have tried to honor him in so many different ways. Bruce Meadows did, and the show here, you know. 
was really a hero for this whole country. So. And is there one of your horses particularly that you have a special relationship with? Like compared to the other ones, just one that you just connect more. Yeah, it's funny. I'm kind. I'm pretty close with both of mine. Um, Micah was always really, really nervous um, when we first got him, and so the relationship between us is pretty close. Uh, you know, he grew up really trusting me and moved into big classes, and I got him. You know, at the end of his eight-year-old year, and, and I was just turning 14, so had him quite a while. So I'm really close to him in that way. And then Solana has been the horse that's brought me all the way up in the span of nine months to the Olympic Games. So obviously she's pretty close, but she's not really as cuddly and loving as uh, Micah is. She doesn't really need her hand held. She's like, okay, on we go to the games. Now leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> How about you? Do you have one that's like... Um, probably my horse, Bernardo. I got him, I think when I was 14 too. So I've had him for five years, a little more than that. And um, so we've kind of grown up together. You know, we started doing the junior jumpers and we, I never expected him to be this amazing. And I've done all the big grand prix on him this summer and I just trust him so much. And definitely have a special relationship with him. But I love all of them. <laughs> and we had a nerd. Both of mine were competing at a pretty low level in like amateurs, low amateurs, high amateurs. And so I think it is pretty special to hop on in that short of time period, especially with Solana. Having never jumped above a meter 35 before go all the way to the games in that short of time, I think that requires something pretty special between horse and rider. And is Katie competing here? No. He's just, and you train with Laura? Yes. And she's competing. What is it like to beat your coaches? Like, is it a little bit awkward <laughs> in the barn? No. Yeah. Friend, uh, you know, Katie's been, Katie's been showing for so many years and her career is, you know, she'll say herself, her career is starting to wind down. She has one, you know, one special horse that she has or one project that she'll bring along, but she doesn't have a string of horses. Mm -hmm. She's a very green and experienced horse, so it's not really a level playing field. I think it's different with uh, Jessie and Laura, yeah. Laura, who's at the height <laughs> of her career. And I don't really be Laura very often, but um, I mean, obviously, you know, when I do, she's so happy for, you know, she's so happy. And if I'm going into a class where she's winning, you know, she gives me a round that could maybe beat her time. So, you know. So it's not awkward in no, the rounds no. after. She's not like, <laughs> yeah, no, not at all.